am indestructible. No one can stop me. But they try. Hey! Ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the polecats. Someone's ambushing the polecats? Oh, heavens, whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. I'd like to make you just something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns! Malcolm Cole is dying. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Oh. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer, we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? My gang's in trouble. Polecats? How'd you know that? 
Big emblem on the back of your jacket. They're headed for an ambush, so I gotta catch them. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new-new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Ну что, продолжаем. Возьмем канистру. Шланг. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. When he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, uh, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. It's empty. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy! I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Hey, I hear you already! I'm a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. What do you want? I got a guy coming... Still chasing. Chip wins whiskey and skirt. I think he's had enough. This view defines true beauty.
wouldn't look good on my bike. It's empty. That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. Так, пойдем на заправку. junk. No, 
давайте узнаем, что думали об этом разработчики. Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. Cars, no thank you. Cars, no thank you. Here, poochie pooch, pooch. Bon appetit, mud. Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Just gotta gas her up and go. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. is electrified. Bye. <laughs> 
buddy? Maybe nobody's there. Let me set off the alarm for me. Maybe somebody's just fooling with us. Ah, uh, you must have missed that last guy. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Nah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick. You go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. Get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average, everyday, pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. <laughs> Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket Cause I'd had a tank full When she blew my gasket I surely was thankful 
till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. <sighs> Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminate, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. 